Okay, last thing I want to look at here is how to build buttons with the uh, Uni 2IO script. Um, so what I've got here is a thing I'm calling a button. And what it is basically is just a one by one quad with a text around. That's it. Um, it's important to note that it also has a box collider. Without a collider, it can't get a raycast hit. And it is residing in the touchable objects layer. It's pretty important. Um, I've created a new script called BB Touchable Button. Let's have a look at that right now. What this is, this is a uh, inherits from touchable object. And uh, it just overrides handle single touch. That's it. And no touches. Those are the two things that overrides. Um, oh, I guess startup too. Override startup. This is sort of a touchable object initialization routine. Um, and all it's doing basically is um, during the handle single touch, it uh, checks if it's already touched down. If it's the first time it's touched down, it sends a message, the touchdown message, to whatever the object that you're notifying is. Similar when you pull, when, you, when the touch comes up, um, it sends the touch up message to whatever notification object you would like. Uh, by default, that notification object is the object that this script is attached to, but it can be anything you want. I'll show you that in a second. I have another script here. Um, it's very simple. This is a test button action script. And all this does is um, reacts to a do touch down and do touch up messages. Now, if we look back at our touchable button, do touch down and do touch up are the messages I'm sending when I get those events. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and look at Unity here. So, in my, I've got my GUI text here. That's this GUI text right here. And that has a test button action script attached to it. Uh, I got my button here, and here's my touchable button script. A um, couple things I'm inheriting from BB Touchable, don't have to worry about. Um, I have this notification object that is this GUI text here. You can see that. Um, this way, whenever when I do a touchdown, these messages get sent to that object. Um, and I have this thing called a pressed texture, and this is just um, a texture that it will change to during the press down phase. So let's have a look at that. So here we go. Our touch object. Do the press, gets pressed, unpressed, pressed, unpressed. Very simple, very simple button. And obviously you can have these um, these uh, action scripts do whatever you like. So the way this is set up with these messages here um, allows you to basically take these action scripts and make them very simple, react to these simple things, and uh, makes a nice generic interface for buttons. So there you go, multi-touch buttons. Here's two touches. There you have it.